Hello, hello, good morning. <clears throat> so it's exactly 9 a.m. now, yeah. So for today, we're going to be continuing our lesson with the prime, not the prime, premium, no, no. It's a moment, where is this one? Yeah, so for today, we're going to be continuing our free trading lesson series and uh, 30 day, okay? For three days, guys, we talked about the basic, how to start, you know, trading, how to um, journal, how to take a trade, what tools to use. We tackled all of that, yeah? So, uh, today is the day that we're going to be starting our prize action lesson. So, for those who haven't watched the uh, past day's lesson, you can just go over my channel and then check out my um, live list. Yes, good morning. See you, dear. Glad to see you here again. This is the third, the fourth day. Yes, fourth day. All right. So uh, give me a moment, guys. Just a moment. Okay, so sorry about that. I was uh, just sharing the screen. So price action, let's talk about price action first, right? What is price action? So I myself, I trade by price action. I do incorporate some confluences, meaning like indicators, you know, like that, but not so much. I refer my trading more of with price action. So with price action, it consists of the, our topic right now, which is, you know, market structure. And then, yeah, we'll uh, market structure, candlesticks, anything, guys, that you can see on a bear chart. You don't need anything, no indicators to tell you, like literally telling you like, oh, this is a buy signal, this is a sell signal. No. Price action is uh, the skill wherein you are able to read the market if it's, you know, the possibility of winning is higher on that side. It can be up or down. So that's why, you know, we do sell, we do buy. Okay? So... 
Uh, with that said, we're going to be starting our price action lesson with the market structure lesson. Very basic, but trust me, the basic itself is the... Uh, just a moment, guys. Yeah, the basic itself, guys, <laughs> it is where you are going to be able to make money. At least, you know, for me, that was it. So let me tell you just a short, you know, history is this. When I started my trading, obviously, we all wanted to, you know, gain money, earn million, and then we go over YouTube, type in what is the trading indicator or what is the trading strategy that's going to make me money. Back then, I was looking for trading indicator that's going to make me money. We're in. I just have to sit. Indicator will tell me buy. Indicator will tell me sell. Yes, in some, they work, but they're not consistent. You understand? It's like even though I tried them for a month, I win, but my losses are bigger. So having that alone is not enough. Okay, that is the truth that I am telling you now. It's not enough. So because it's like, yes, I can see it's a buy, it's a sell, but I don't know what's happening with the chart. So right now we're going to be starting with knowing what is happening in the chart. Okay. So it's really good. I'm sorry. I'm getting a lot of notifications with with the market, we can see market is going up very nicely today. And uh, yeah, my portfolio is up significant amount. <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's good. Okay. So yeah, let's continue. Now market structure, guys. Market structure is there's only two to three things, okay, that you have to know with market structure. So market structure, first of all, uh, we have different types. So one of that, we talked about it, I mentioned it yesterday in the lingo, is the uptrend, yeah? So one market structure that we have is, let me remove this one. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uptrend, Uptrend looks like this. Can you see it is trending? Yeah, it is trending and going upwards. Okay, now market structure has components in order to, you know, just to verify if it is an uptrend. Uptrend consists of, okay, so let's say this is the starting point of the chart. All right, so starting point. Um, is what we consider a low. Yes, that's a low. Now, the next push to the upside, this one, is now what we consider the high. Just a simple high for now, guys. Okay, just a simple high, especially if it's coming from a starting point. So, mm -hmm. Let me move that in here. I change the color to yellow so everyone can see. You know what? Green, okay? Green because, you know, that is like the standard color of going up, red as going down, okay? So, the uh, seaweed, are you holding the uh, dot trade still? Yeah, now it got TP1 hit, right? It's a, it's a really complicated market for the past 30 days to be honest uh it's a little bit quite hard to trade but now finally we're having huge volatility in the market so you know it's gonna get more exciting from here and during this free trading lessons guys we will be having live trading sessions that's gonna be in evening so stick with me in here yeah after we are done with some of the structures wherein you guys can, you know, catch up with me, what I'm talking about. Then we will be having the live 
session. So it's a really good time if market is going to continue giving us high volatility. We will be having really nice trade setups upcoming. Okay. Yeah. So still holding it. Okay. Good, good. Just do trade management. I already called it in premium as invalidated. It was really, that was a really deep V sharp correction happened uh, just to take out everything. But this is the thing. When a market does that, a really deep, uh, uh, let me demonstrate that. A really deep movement like this and then a bounce like that. Yeah, expect market. You can expect market to go higher from here. That is like a spring. So, you know, uh, for Filipinos, we have this, this toy we call, um, what was the word? We're in like you pull it. The harder you pull, it's like it has a rubber band. Yeah? Like the the harder you pull it, the stronger the tra trajectory is going to be. So something like that. So, you know, the harder the market has pulled it, the all actually like this, it will have a really string, a uh, strong uh, bounce. Okay? So that is why. Yeah, like a slingshot, exactly, slingshot. So, yeah, slingshot, guys. That is why my, uh, um, I'm sorry, I'm a little bit getting distracted. I have to, I, I cannot turn it my turn off my phone notification, but I'm getting lots of notification with my, you know, with my alerts. Uh, yeah, we're breaking meaning. That means to me that we're breaking levels, which is good, okay, which is good. Yeah, so... Let's welcome some other people in here. Yeah. Oh, Crypto MD is here. Good morning. Good morning. Yes. Nikki Shaw. Good morning. Happy to have you here. Yeah. It's called Tirador or Slingshot for people who are not familiar with it. Just look at it. The harder you pull it, yeah, the stronger or yeah, the, the stronger it will go. So that is the same structure with what happened last night. And that drop, okay, what happened last night is pretty familiar every single time we are about to have a big move. So that is normal. Okay, so be remember that. Take it down on your notes. So next time when it happens, you know what you can do. You know how you make it. And you see everything is just popping out. I'm sorry, guys. My All of my link, I mean all of my alerts are heating up. <laughs> we are breaking levels really good really good okay so continuing with our, our market structure we have high uh right here is just again it is just a simple high now when we do that correction remember correction or pullback the movement that is against the trend okay it is considered a higher high can you see? No, no, my bad, my bad. Not a higher high, a higher low. Mm, yes, a higher low. So, you know, from the word itself, we, we have the low. And this one, yes, it is a low, but it is higher than the previous low. That is why it is called the higher high. So, as we break the previous high now, we're, you know, you move up right here we call that one a higher high meaning yes it is a high but we have a previous high also so we consider that one as a higher high okay so this is it that's the thing that uh, you have to um be familiar with the market is this we have higher high higher low higher high higher low that is with the uptrend so the next time you know another uh low happens in here that right there is what we consider the higher low. I'm just going to do a shortcut now. So HL means higher low. HH means higher high. So on and so forth. As long as the market keeps doing this, your market is plain uptrend. Just uptrend. Remember that. So we are, we are learning about trends. Why? Because when we trade, especially if you're a beginner, I really do recommend you to trade with the trend. 
Okay? Remember, trend is your friend. All right? So, uh -huh. so, miss, are you saying that uh, we cannot trade the opposite movement? You can. That is what we call counter trading trade. Okay? Counter trading, which I do with my scalping. But then again, that right there takes skills, takes experience to perform. Unless naturally you just like it like that. So there's a lot of, of rules to set in to do counter trade. Because when you are doing a trade against a trend, especially like this. Like this, going down, down. And suddenly, psh, can you see how small the movement is? Okay, but like how strong the movement when it is with the trend? That's the problem. Uh, you know, stop loss gets hit. That's normal. And that's, uh, you're lucky if you have a stop loss. What if you don't have a stop loss? That, that movement is going to go with the trend. So, you know, can you guys now yeah, see that the loss is going to be bigger? We don't want that. So, um, yeah, trade with the trend, especially if you're just starting out. Okay, so as long as you know that your trend is uptrend, okay, we're moving up. What position are we going to be having? We're going to look for buy or long positions. Okay, anything that, you know, shows market. Yeah, so good morning. Just checking the comments if you guys have any questions. You know, so if you have any questions, just hit it in the comments. So now, the next market structure that we have is what we call the downtrend. So downtrend, let me write that down. Hmm. <clears throat> So downtrend, let's consider the starting of what we're seeing right now is the, you know, the high. It's a simple high. And then right here is a simple low by the structure that we are seeing right now. But the moment, you know, we get a push and then a break to the downside, this right here, It's what we consider or what we call the lower high. Yes, it is a high, but it's, it is lower than the previous high. That is why we call it lower high. Okay? And then right here is what we call the lower low. It is a low, but we, are, we had the previous low, right? So it is considered as the lower low. And it will go on and on like that. So this one is what we consider lower low. I mean lower high. And right here is lower low. So if you hear me speak about that in the future of our classes, uh, lower low, lower high, this is what I mean by it. So as long as your market shows this, you are in a downtrend position. And with that, Trading with a trend, look for short position, okay? Anything. Mm -hmm. So sell or short. market going down so this is the two main um, market structure that I want you guys to know now let's add um, advanced uh, structures in here which is what we call first up is it looks like this guys huh we have the movement but then what is happening right this one is what we call 
rain ring. So rain ring is where a market is stuck in a certain area. We're in like, it can be having an equal high. No higher high, no higher low. They are having equal high. So let me write that down. And equal low. So equal low and then equal high. Market is not moving anywhere. Yes, it is just, this is what we call ranging. Okay, ranging market. Miss, is this tradable? Can we trade this? Yes, um, it is tradable. But then again, if you ask me personally, I myself, I do not trade it. But that doesn't mean that you're going to trade it. I have private students. One of my students, if you guys have seen it in the feedbacks in uh, or flex in my Mayari Cap Capital Discord, one of my students, Crypto Assassin, have you guys seen, seen that post? Um, he had 43 win trades and ju just one loss. So what he does is he trades with range. That's, that's his specialty. I myself, my specialty is trading, counter trading. Can you see guys, there's a lot of strategies that will literally suit you, whatever it will be. So, you know, do not be afraid or do not be held back by the idea of like, okay, this is what I learned from the internet. I should go by this. No. Learn how to, you know, explore it yourself, you know, and uh, have it as your edge. So, yeah, it is tradable. Ranging is tradable. If you can see that, you can short it right here, take profit at the bottom, long it like this. But then you have to be careful. Again, this one needs skill because in ranging, manipulation is high. It is high. So you have to be, you know, there's another topic for that. Okay. Yeah. So ranging is prone to manipulation, but it is tradable. So, um, Another one that I would like to add from here is this. So it is somewhat like arranging also, but miss, I don't understand this. It's like uptrend should have like big, big movements, but why this one is so slow. Okay, keyword guys, it is slow and it is ranging, but in an angle. So this one is what we call channel, okay? So channel is also a part of ranging, but it's just that it has an angle. It is also tradable. I have one student, another student, guys, that he loves channel, parallel channel, all of that, those sort of stuff. So, yeah, you can absolutely explore all of this you know yourself develop what's what is working and what is not working with you but all of them all of this they are tradable yeah so that's uh, the basic of the market structure for you you know trading with the trend as much as possible and then we can ha also have counter trading now um higher high, higher low. Let's go on some examples, okay? Let me mm -hmm. pull another chart in here and then we can see it for ourselves. All right, so <clears throat> mm -hmm. Okay, Bitcoin has a huge pump on the 15 minute. Uh, anyway, so. All right. Okay, now for the beginners, I know um, this chart, by the way, this one is what we call the candles and like I said in the beginning, this is what we're going to be using. So I understand that, you know, 
especially for beginners, it hurts your eyes. It's like, Miss, I don't know what's happening in here. I don't know. So if that happens, please go over here and you can use line chart. So line chart can be used for practice. So if I open the line chart right now, it's going to be much more cleaner. We can see the top. We can see the bottom. The top, bottom. Yes? So, yeah, going back to candles is a little bit messy in that sense. But, like, once you get the hang of it, okay, this is why you need chart exposure. Be with the chart. Read the chart. See the chart. Then, you know, your eyes is going to get adapted to it. So going back on the uh, line, we can clearly see market moved. Okay, let's go over here. <clears throat> so market is moving in an impulse. Yes? Is there any pullback, guys? Let me know. What do you guys think? Do we have any pullback happening? Yeah? No, right? No pullback yet. We're just moving in a straight up right here. And then suddenly, market, can you see? Miss, why market is doing, hmm, what is that? Yeah, market is, has stopped. And more of like, it looks like ranging, okay? And then now, miss, market broke out. Market continued. So meaning this area right here is our correction. Can you see? So now let me add those. We have the uh, low. Yes. Now we have the high. And then right here, we have now the lower, I mean higher high, I mean higher low, my bad. Higher, low, clear? We got the break. So from here, market is now, you know, moving to the upside. All right, so still, still moving, 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 no pullback. Yes, no pullback yet. So with that one said, <laughs> they're just in an impulse, moving up, moving up. So boom, can you see? Huh, that's a rejection down. Can you guys uh, see that on the other on the other movements in here? That is a clear pullback or correction happening. Yeah? So, now we have the higher high, yeah? And now we are anticipating for the higher low. And then there you go. Now we have the higher low. So, so if I'll zoom out, what market structure are we having still? We are in an uptrend. Now, can you guys, like, see why it is... I don't recommend for beginners to trade with counter trading and as much as possible trade with the trend is this. We get big movements or or little bit easier type of trades with the trend. With counter trading, it takes lots of managing, you know, and you really have to keep your eye on it, okay? So now market is moving up. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we have the... Rejection. So right there, let's draw it. Oops. Okay, up, down. So with that one, we have the higher high, yes. And then we have the higher low happening currently. But it can go lower, yeah, unless and until we got the break. Okay, now that is... This higher low is now set in zone. We got the break to the upside. Okay? <clears throat> so, with that, we also have impulse. Yes, I know it looks short compared to all of this, but that is an impulse. Okay? 
So, higher high. It is a higher high. Can you guys see? It's higher than the previous one. And then right here is a higher low. It's higher than the previous low. Okay? So, now, market. Okay? Stopping, stopping. All right. So, we have another move to the upside from here. Now, we have the another higher low. So, now we are anticipating for, I mean, higher high. Now, we are anticipating for the higher low, correct? So, hmm. Look, look around in here, guys. What happened? I really want to know. What do you guys think? I'm not going to say anything. Please comment down, you know, in the comment section. What happened? Our higher low? Is this a higher low still? I'm going to wait for you guys. I'm not, I'm not going to say it. Okay? This is the basic and I want you to master it. I always tell this. Private crash course. Master your market structure. Master it. If you don't, if you don't know your market structure, bro, you won't. Trust me, you're gonna have a really hard time trading. So, yes, we have someone. It is a lower low, not a lower low yet, but yes, it is not a higher low anymore but a lower low it can be what we call change of character yes or what we call shift of cycle i call it shift of cycle yeah because we have we went from uptrend now okay someone got it okay let me draw it right here this whole zone that you're seeing is an uptrend correct but remember higher low and we play that one by the price that is why it is important to have the candlestick because with the line chart right here if i'll mark it around here if you see on the right it's just around 51,351. but if i do by the line i will get the exact number okay let's go by the wick it's 50,489. That is the importance of candles. So lines can be your, you know, uh, practice. Okay, so with that one said, well, we have now a lower low. Yeah, you guys got that? Can you see? This is not a higher low, right? It is not higher than the previous low. It is actually lower. So that one right there is a lower low. Now, going back on our lesson earlier, where does the lower low belongs? Does it belong on the uptrend or does it belong on the downtrend? Let me know in the comments. I really want to hear your thoughts. Okay, so Zia is asking, it will go down? Yeah, probably. But I, what I want to know, where does the lower low belongs? Downtrend? Yes, it belongs on the downtrend. This is the importance why you need to know the components of the trends. Higher high, higher low. In the downtrend, we have lower high and lower low. So with that one said, can you see around here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, right here, lower low, and it belongs on the downtrend. So now, when we go over right here, does this lower low right here, where does it belong? In the downtrend. So with that one said, very, you know, as don't, when it comes to trading, guys, keep everything simple. Do not overcomplicate it. Doesn't mean that the system is complicated. Oh, it's so hard to get. Bro, <laughs> is it going to make you money? I'm telling you, the simple as, you know, as you get, 
the simple as you do your analysis, everything, trust me. The simpler the money gets into your account also, okay? So this right here, we have downtrend activated. Okay, downtrend is activated. And what was our rule earlier? Trade with the trend. So with that one said, when the downtrend is activated, we prepare for what? Do we prepare for a long position? Yeah, long or buy position? Or do we prepare for a sell or short position? Anyone? I want to know, let me know in the comments, okay? This is a really crucial part now of this whole lesson. This is it. Back in the past three days, I'm not asking anyone any you know, answers, but now we are in the technical analysis. Yes, we are going to prepare for short position, okay? We're going to prepare for a short position. So... <clears throat> Right here, downtrend is activated. Let's play it. Okay. All right. So now we're getting some resistance up in here. So we need to have the break. Okay. In order for that to be considered as a lower high. So this lower high right here, we have other components, guys. Okay. Going back around this area only because we're going to be preparing for short position. Correct. So it's not going to be higher than this level. So just around the zone, it can be support, resistance, key level, OB, whatever, right? But the idea is this. We need to look for entry for short position right here, okay? And stop loss is going to be where? It's going to be at the higher high or a little bit above the higher high because when the price goes past the higher high remember if it goes past ganyana a little bit higher even though a little bit higher that deactivates the downtrend and activates the uptrend clear so that's a shift of <clears throat> cycle in there now now that we have the shift of cycle higher high okay let's say we have short position just for demonstration again stop loss should be above this guy right here and then take profit yeah i'll teach you guys how to take profits but let's just randomly do like this all right so short position let me move so we can see the color okay there you go going down going down now, that right there, guys, is another right here, uh, lower low. So, guys, by the way, if you want a more detailed type of knowing the lower low, lower high shift in here, I teach that in Crash Course. We have lessons, recorded lessons with that, Crash Course and if you're a premium member, just let me know. I'll send you the file. If you are a premium member, you can send me or you can message me in premium right now. I'll send you the file. There is a deeper understanding more with this. This is just the basics, guys, okay? So there's a deeper more understanding to know if it's a higher high, a lower low. More to that. So for my crash course students... Yeah, you guys know that. So right here, <clears throat> we have the lower low, lower high. And can you see? I don't know if you guys can see that. Let's just consider this one lower high. And now right here, another lower low. Because if you see right around this area, it is lower than the previous low. Yes, but, but, but what happened around here? Yeah? Is this still a lower high? Let me know in the comments. Please, let me know. Is this a lower high? Okay? Just type it down in the comments. I want to know. I want to see 
you know, if you guys get the full grasp of market structure, even just at the basic lesson. Oh, my goodness, my bad. Z, oh, the chart is not showing. So just a moment. Yes, yeah, so right here. Okay, let me pull that one back down right here. Okay. So right around this area, again, we have the lower low. And then we have the lower high. Yes, the lower high. So like I said earlier, if you want to know how to, especially in ranges like this, I know it gets hard, especially if, ha, can you guys not see? Even especially on the candles, it can really get, you know, confusing. So if you want to know that, Okay, for my crash course, it's available in my crash course. Uh, or my, uh, yeah, if you are a current premium member, now just let me know. So if you guys are interested with crash course and all of that, just click down the description below. The link is there. Everything is there. Okay, even premium. So, yeah, so lower high. And then at this point, market do a lower low. Can you see? Lower low. So now let me know in the comments what happened. What just happened? Is this a lower high? I'm going to wait for you guys. Let me know in the comments. What do you think? You can take your time. Is that a lower high? Yeah? Is that a lower high? What do you guys think? <clears throat> yes that's right that right there is a higher high very good i really like this comments you guys are really engaging yes that is a higher high okay higher high so compare let's compare it okay for those you know uh still are a little bit confused this one, it is a high. Yes, we came from a low. Remove the lower, remove the, ha the higher path. This one is low. This one is high. This one is, it is a low, but it is lower than the previous low right here. Yes. And then right here, it is a high. It went up. So that one is a high, but now let's compare it on the previous high it is higher or is it lower this right here is a higher high so now going back right here where does the higher high belongs to does it belong on a downtrend or does it belong on an uptrend anyone Anyone? Yeah? Let me know in the comments, guys. Okay. Does the higher high belongs on an uptrend or does it belong on a downtrend? Yes. There we go. Really good. Really good. Okay. I'm happy, you know. Because at this point, you already got 30% of the price action lesson. You knowing the market structure is going to change your trading game, guys. Let me, uh, I'll tell you. So, yeah, that right there then. Okay, downtrend is now deactivated. Yeah. And now, mm -hmm. haha, what happened? Uptrend is now activated i'm telling you as simple as it gets you know i really did hope i had the mentor back then when i was you know starting out to tell me as you know as a detail as you know as this basic to know oh is it downtrend now or is it the option now you know so i really do hope that this lesson that I'm sharing with you guys is going to be valuable, is going to be additional to, you know, 
your whatever, especially for those who are in advanced. I really do hope this changes or this adds to your knowledge. Eh? So right here now, uptrend is activated. So with that one said, when uptrend is activated, what do we look for? Sell short or buy long? We look for buy long. So with that one said, okay, so moment, where is this one? Yeah, so uptrend is activated, we look for a long position. That's it, long position, stop loss, again targets, don't worry about targets yet, just know your cycles, that's it, what position to take, okay? This is just, again, for just an example. Mm -hmm. No, you do not do short. You do long. Okay? We look for buy position. Okay? So, let's play it. <clears throat> so, we're getting a series of, you know, higher high around here. And then no higher low yet. This right here is a higher low. Yeah, again, if you are getting confused, miss, why is it a higher low? The lesson is in my crash course, a much deeper lesson. Right now, what we have is the uh, basics. But then this all, all of these basics is more than enough already. You, from here only, you know the cycles now, the shift of cycles, which is really important. Okay, so now we have the higher high. Okay, this one right here. Let me remove this. So now you're asking, Miss, why did you remove that? Okay, why did you remove that? So that right there, again, there's some micro and macro structures and they're happening. Okay, so right here we have the higher low. So if you see from this level, Okay, compare to the here, it is almost, right, guys? It's really near. But then, it is still higher than the previous one. So this one right here is a higher low. At this point, our uptrend is still activated, okay? And we can see that we just broke the previous higher high. We made a new high. So let's go over here. Okay, so right around this area, we have another, uh-huh, okay, my bad, okay, so we have another high right there, and then, okay, just a moment, high, and then another higher low, oops, yeah, higher low right here, and let's zoom in at this part. Can you guys see what happened? What happened with the higher high? I mean higher low. We created a lower low. So with that one said, uptrend is now deactivated and downtrend is now activated. As simple as that is. Okay, the moment you know your trend, guys, the easier your trend, your trades are going to be. Okay? So, let's just play it, this, this one out now. Okay, what happens after this? <clears throat> okay, so low, lower low, lower low, lower low continues to do right here. Okay, that is a straight movement impulse to the downside. There is no clear correction. Okay, so now we are having the correction. Can you see? That's a proper correction. And this is an example, a really good example of if I'll take my channel parallel. By the way, this tool, guys, it is a parallel channel right here. So just go over here and then you can see that right here. Parallel. Can you see, guys? There's a parallel channel. So in the future, if the chart 
moves, uh, I mean, her hits at this point, we can expect rejection. Okay, we expect rejection. So let me open the candle so you can see that. Can you see? So let's play it by the candle now, okay? Let me zoom that one out for you. Mm -hmm. Can you see? Rejection at the channel right there. And then, can you see? Now that is a proper channel, guys. It is ranging, but it is in a angle position. So going back on the line, that right there, right here, okay? Let's wait for the break. Okay, now we got the breakout. This one is what, I remember the breakout word yesterday from the lingo lesson. This is an example. Let me open the candle. This is an example of a breakout. Breaking out from a pattern, breaking out from a channel, okay? So this one now is what we call the lower high, okay? Downtrend is going on and on right here. So let's move it like this. Okay. So I really did extend it to the right, right? Can you guys now see now it dropped crazy? And this is not a small drop from the breakout. I'm going to do from the breakout that is a 30%, 34% drop. Okay. So now we're having the, okay, let me zoom in in here. This is an example of ranging right here. So ranging, okay, you got this top right there, mm -hmm. and then another. I know you guys will be like, oh, Ness, that's so small. How is it ranging? I want to remind you, we are doing a day, day chart, and this ranging took 28 days. So no, it is not a small ranging, okay? It took 28 days days so with that said by 28 days there's a lot of touch at the bottom this resistance zone there's a lot of touches on the top one two three to be exact and then at the bottom there's a lot so this right here is an example of a ranging if we open that on a lower time frame it's gonna be a big one but since we are in a daily it looks nothing like it's so small it's so small but it's a month worth of movement, okay? So now we have the movement to the downside. So right here is what we consider the lower low. So right here is the lower high. Again, there's a detailed lesson for this, okay? I'm not just randomly putting it, okay? That, oh, that's a lower high right there. No, there is a process, okay, to know the exact position of them and that is in my crash course okay again it is in the description down below just you know just click the link over there so now we are doing another lower low at this point and then now we got the lower high so right here lower low uh -huh. and then another lower high by the way, guys, let me know in the comments if this lesson right now just literally, you know, like, oh, what is that thing? I, I forgot that word. Like a ha aha moment like that. Like a bulb switch on and then, okay, now I can see the market after this session. I can see the market and know what market structure I ha I'm having properly. Okay, not just like knowing, oh, higher, high, higher, low. No, you also get to know the shift of cycle now. Let me know in the comments. Okay, so now we have the higher, high. Let's go back on the line, okay? So higher, higher, high, lower, low. And if you see this, this one is a little bit lower than this one, but we can confirm that by the candle. No, it is not. Can you see? That right there, we have the wick. Anyways, we'll have the lesson, candle kind of lesson, so you guys get the idea what is wick, what is body, and all of that. Okay, so let me zoom in so you guys can see everything. Okay. All right, so now lower low, we have the lower high. Currently, there's 
Oh, I guess now you're asking, Miss, is this an example of a range? Yes, we have the support, but with the top area, there's no proper detail yet, just this first top. Okay, so, you know, something like that. You can expect movements like this. <clears throat> okay, now, now we have the break, and with that break as well, creates a new lower low. Okay, so... Mm -hmm. <clears throat> all right what is happening guys we have a strong movement to the upside now let's recheck let's recheck let's recheck okay taking this right there i'm doing this by this example only okay but let me tell you guys right here we already have the lower high i know now it might get confusing, but then again, all explanation will be in the crash course uh, or if you're a premium, okay? But then if I'll open the line, you can see it by yourself. Lower high, we made a lower low. Lower high right here, we got the break. So with this break, what happened? We have, we activated the what did we activate, guys? We activated the higher high. Yeah? So let's go over here. Downtrend is the activated. Uptrend is now activated. Okay? So let's go on the candles. So this one is 20... Yeah, now right there is a higher low. Can you see? Higher low. And now we are making another higher high. Right? So, yeah, that's currently with your Bitcoin, guys. That is currently, this is Bitcoin. So, now you have the detailed idea also what we just did. <clears throat> you also had a detailed explanation with Bitcoin. What is Bitcoin happening now? Yes, Bitcoin is in an uptrend motion. All right. We're breaking this guy like anything. So I'm going to set my alarm above here or around this area to let me know that, get ready, Bitcoin is going to hit, now I'm telling you, around 39 40 000 because 30k okay 30k is a really strong rejection that's why it's not so easy to break it it actually took us it is taking us okay from this rejection this is a 30k level okay so from this it is taking us two months guys 62 days let me remove everything so you know it will be clear for everyone uh -huh. That 30k level is a really strong one. It goes way back, way back years. So, you know, don't be shocked why Bitcoin is not moving above 30k. So, right here. Now, can you see clearly? Yes. So, 62. We need to break it. But the moment we break this, there's nothing. There is nothing Bitcoin holding it back. Okay, next stop is around here. You know, there. It's around 40, 43. But again, don't take this as, you know, <laughs> financial advice. I'm just telling you what is the market is telling me. Okay, so that's it. For our market structure, you guys get the basics, the cycles, which is really important. The components of a structures so tomorrow we are going to be having the continuation with our price action lesson okay <clears throat> so yeah i'll see you guys tomorrow thank you for being here if you have any questions you can message me in my instagram my uh, recapital if you're interested in learning more 
um, I have recorded lessons in premium. You can have that. And in order to, you know, access the premium, just check out in the description down below right now all the links in there. Crash Course, um, Premium, okay? All right, so see you guys tomorrow. Thank you for being in here. Have a good morning, okay? Bye-bye. Yes, thank you, thank you. All right.